Greetings and salutations. Welcome to this episode of the Tim O'Gorg Show. In this video, we're going to do uh, the Warriors of the Empire mission in the Klingon Civil War story arc. Okay, let's hail it. The time has come. Join us in the Boreth system. We are preparing to make our next move against the forces of the so-called Emperor and his dishonorable lackeys. Soon we will rally those who would end this destructive conflict and restore the Empire. The journey lies ahead. All that remains is to take the first step. Yep. Alright. We accept that. Let's begin, shall we? Here we are. Speak. Ah, you have arrived. Good. Good. Perhaps, Perhaps you can succeed where I have not. I appreciate the vote of confidence. What is the problem? The problem is that we cannot decide on our next move. Getting a spy, a warrior, a politician, and a general to agree on anything is a difficult challenge. When all those people are Klingons, it becomes a challenge worthy of Kalis himself. Mm -hmm. um, seeing as I'm not Kalis, what do you suggest I do? Speak with the others. See what they have in mind. Your fresh perspective may find a path forward, if such a thing exists. Hmm. Very well. I will speak to the others and seek their counsel. Hmm. Okay, we're in a dark room. People to talk to. Hello. I have received word that systems controlled by House Korath are being attacked by forces loyal to Jumpok. They are being punished for their refusal to bend the knee. Bend the knee? Haha. <laughs> Where have I heard that before? Um, as many as are many. Jempok seeks vengeance on any who dare to defy his will. Our intel suggests that Akar's virus has been used to render their starships defenseless in several battles. I believe we can forge an alliance with them by providing the countermeasures to the virus. This will give their forces a chance to fight as warriors rather than die without honor in the cold darkness of space. All right, agreed. The plan is worth consideration. Speak with Laurel. The others believe we should curry favor with the strongest houses that stand against Jimbok. It is not a position I agree with. Hmm, why is that? The strong houses will resent any aid from us. They will take it as an offense, a question of their honor and their prowess as warriors. Smaller houses in need will be more pragmatic. They will accept our aid and become loyal allies when called upon. Okay, you make a good point. I believe we should prove our strength by helping those who need it most. In doing so, we will earn respect from the stronger houses rather than resentment. Mm, your wisdom is appreciated, Laurel. She looks pretty cool, indeed. Mm. Better than this one. My mind often returns to the disaster at Kuvat. Though it was Akar who gave the order to fire the planet, it happened on my ship. I want to remove the dishonor of that treacherous attack on the world of my mother's birth. How do you prepare to do that? How do you propose to do that? Oops. There are reports of new mycelial rifts opening in the Kuvat system. Corrupted Alachi have launched several attacks in retaliation for previous attacks of aggression against them. It seems another one of my sins has returned to haunt me. I would go to Kavat and aid their forces against the Alachi. Mm -hmm. Working to undo the damage done will be noticed and appreciated. Is that it? Speak with more talk again. 
Martok. It's an A. You see, I think that's why we have yet to agree on a plan. Each of us has a bold, challenging goal in mind. Hmm, yep. Indeed, uh, what was your idea, General? <laughs> I proposed that we go to Kronos and put a Batleth into Jim Pock's skull. After issuing a formal challenge for the right to lead, of course. As glorious as that would be, it was decided the level of security surrounding the Emperor would be more than even we could handle. That, and the matter of his dishonorable solution to the last fight we had over the Chancellor's seat. Ah! Hmm, I see. Um, of the plans I have heard so far, I believe Luel should be considered first. Indeed. I would hear your reasoning for this decision. House Karath is one of the great houses. They could see our aid in an insult. They could see our aid as an insult. That may be true, but what of Kuvat? Do we abandon the people there to the Alachi? Mm, no. We help them once we have greater numbers to assist us. Hmm. Yes. A warrior who enters a battle unprepared is a warrior destined to fail. You are correct. With more forces at our side, we will be able to face the Alachi and aid the people of Kuvat. Hmm. Then we should decide upon a lesser house to assist. I do not disagree. And I believe I know the perfect candidate for this operation, House Kang. Uh, that is an interesting choice. After the death of the Har Master Kang, the house lost a great deal of influence. It has been in a slow but steady state of decline ever since. They have been seeking a way to restore glory to their house for some time now. Their most recent attempt ended poorly. Go on. When Jimbok declared himself emperor, House Kang was preparing to stage a coup. Unfortunately, spies discovered their plan and informed Jimbok. Imperial security captured most of the leadership of House Kang, and they are on their way to Rura Pente as we speak. Okay. Jim Pak threw me into a prison once. He wanted me to suffer and die without honor. I will not let that happen to the warriors of House Kang. Um, sounds like you have an idea, General. I do. I think we should raid that system and liberate the House Kang warriors being held there. Um, a bold plan. But one um, they will not be expecting. I will lead our ground forces on these raids. I knew Dahar Master Kang, and I know many of the current leaders of his house. They will be quicker to trust a familiar face. Okay, very well. While we conduct the raids, I want the crews of the Corps and Rotarin to seek more allies and conduct reconnaissance. We must be prepared for future battles after this one. Okay. Now, let us show the Great Houses our strength. Kapla! Kapla. Mm. Beam me up. Lady. They're holding General Kanal of House Kang on one of these prison stations, along with many of his loyal warriors. The stations are rigged with sensor jammers, so we'll have to find Kanal and his forces the hard way. Ah, uh, General Mortok? Martok? I'll be leading the boarding parties to search for Kanal, starting with Station Alpha. We'll beam over from your ship once you've disabled the station's defenses. Ah, and then things will get interesting. I do not expect the prison guards to give up their prize easily. Very well. All hands, battle stations, red alert, lock on, torpedo base. Ready, phases.
Station Alpha is disabled. Beam over boarding parties. Beaming. Boarding party transport complete. We are engaging the enemy. Where are they? Incoming fleet on centers. Prepare for combat. Whoops. So a few seconds to rally. This is Martok. We've completed our search of the station, but Canal was nowhere to be found. We did find some of his troops, though. Several of them told me that Canal was taken to Station Gamma for interrogation. Okay. Sounds like we have our next destination, General. Indeed. We have some new allies to join in the fight. Canal's warriors are eager to help us, and I'm inclined to let them. As am I. Good. We're ready for the next jailbreak. Come and get us. We're on our way, General. Stand by. Bring back the boarding parties. Transporting. They'll be waiting for us on Station Gamma. Let's not disappoint them. A leader who thinks of those who serve, as well as the Empire. Warriors follow them proudly. Hmm. Station Gamma is disabled. Yes, I do need to bring boarding parties over as well. Obviously. This is Martok. Resistance is stronger than anticipated. We need reinforcements immediately. Understood, General. We'll beam more troops. I'm picking up incoming warp signatures. Enemy forces are inbound to our position. Uh, okay. General, we have company. We'll beam more forces over when we can. Here they come. Looks like a Nausicaan mercenary fleet. Oh, that doesn't sound too hard. The station is secure, but Canal is not here. In fact, no one from House Kang is here. Mostly dregs bound for a dishonorable death on that ice ball down there. Hmm. Did you find any clues as to Canal's location? Possibly. I found an old friend of ours locked up over here. That annoying Ferengi who sold us out to Jim Park back on Nimbus 3. He says he has information, but he'll only speak to you about it. Oh, I hate that guy. Let's just blow him up. Major, 
This ought to be interesting. Pretty on screen. We meet again, Nemesis. After an <laughs> unfortunate misunderstanding between myself and the Klingons, I find myself bound for the frozen depths of Rura Pente. They didn't even give me a trial. But my fortunes could be about to change. I know where your famous general is. Hmm. What do you want this time? Since we lack the time for a proper series of negotiations, I'll make it simple for you. Get me out of here! Alive! And I will tell you where he is. Leave me here to my cruel, frozen fate, and you'll never find him! I'll get you out of there and see to it that you receive a fair trial final offer. But you... We have a deal! Even a prison cell on Kronos is better than that frozen nightmare below! I'd be standing before the Blessed Exchequer within a week. My ledgers are not ready for the final audit. Mm. Where is General Kainal, my brain? One of the prisoners here put a shiv in his back to score points. He should be dead. But the word is Chancellor... Uh, Emperor Jempok made it clear he was not to die a warrior's death. Unfortunately, the surgeon here is an incompetent drunk. So they took Kanal to Beta Station for medical treatment over there. Check the sick bay logs under snacks and libations, if you don't believe me. Uh, General Martok? <sighs> it appears the little Capex is telling the truth. Pity. I was looking forward to dangling him by his ears from an airlock until he talked. General. Very well. I'll bring him along and throw him by the ears into your brig. <laughs> Enough of this. We're ready to beam out when you are. Understood. Stand by. Security prepare a, a cell in the brig. Beam back. For boarding parties. Quickly! Kanal has survived one attack. He may not survive another. Quickly. What? I'll go over there. Okay. Enemy vessel decloaking. It's a dreadnought. Done. Station Beta is disabled. Boarding parties, stand by for transport. <laughs> that was crazy. Get out of it, alert. Beaming over boarding parties. Energizing. Is that it? Now what? Ready for the next thing to happen? That dreadnought's arrival worked in our favor. The guards were distracted by your glorious battle. And Canal used the opportunity to stage a riot. By the time we got here, most of the fighting was over. Mm -hmm. There will be other battles, General. Indeed. Canal is still in one piece. 
and we're all ready to leave this place. Hmm. Understood. Standby transport. Beaming back parties. Energizing. Lady Jaula and Laurel, you honor us, Mother. House Kang will not forget your actions today. Uh, you're needed in the fight to restore the Empire, General. The honor was ours. Well said. Jempok sending my troops and I to die in prison is cause enough for us to rally to your banner. But no Klingon would turn their backs on a campaign to save our glorious empire. Give the call to arms, and House Kang will answer. Okay. Come on, General. You will not have to wait long to heed such a call to glory. Stay ready. We will be in touch. We are receiving an incoming transmission from a dead pa. Uh, okay, on screen. House Korra is under attack once more. This time in the Forca system. A number of their ships have been disabled by Akar's virus and left to die in the void. He is sending a message. Stand against the Emperor and face a dishonorable death. Hmm. Another mind game. Indeed. But this is a game we can win. If we move quickly, we can reach Forcus before those vessels break down and explode. We can give them the countermeasures they need to survive. Mm. What's the call here? I will not stand by and do nothing when we have the means to save those warriors. Adet Pa, we will meet you in the Forcus system. Be prepared to render assistance to the Korath vessels. Okay. Helm, set a course for the focus system. Maximum warp. Punch it. Engage. From what I can tell, Akar has infected these ships with a virus similar to the one he used to destroy the Lucar. It renders them defenseless and unable to move, while every critical system begins to break down and fail. Eventually, the systems regulating their antimatter containment fields will fail. I think you know what happens after that. Can you stop the virus? Better get some antivirus software. Yes, I have started to modify the countermeasures we have used before when dealing with Akar's little tricks. They should be ready by the time we reach those vessels. Excellent. Remain vigilant as we approach those vessels. I have studied recent records of battle. A car has used remotely controlled ships as bombs before. Hmm. Oh, I see. Uh, good point. This could be another one of his traps. Everyone, stay sharp. Basic maneuvers. Looks like they need a hand to go to disabled starships nearby. Enemy ships inbound, on an attack vector. Uh, There's uh, Klingons on the starboard bow. Yeah, scrape them off, Jim. Countermeasures are ready. Use them to restore the Korak vessels. Yeah, stop blowing me up, your warp core breaches. Restoring heavy escort. Restoring. Sending over repair robots. Yeah, restoring battle cruiser. Have some nanites. I do not know how you did it, and I do not care. My ship is ready for battle once more. Yep. Ah, there's other ships to assist, however. Yes, and Jempok's loyalists may return as well. Only this time, their cowardly tricks will not work. 
I thought Admiral Defer to be an honorable warrior, but he is just as treacherous as his emperor. Bah! If he shows his face again, I will make it uglier for him! <laughs> it is good to fight at your side. Kapla! Okay, so we need to go over there then. Do -do. Maybe I should change my mouse back to the normal one. It's a bit too big, isn't it? <laughs> bit annoying. It's him! Admiral Devar! Can't we send robots to these guys, no? Do you want some numbers? We were too late for most of them. Some escape pods were able to reach a safe distance before the end. One vessel remains. Do we have enough time to save them? What is the status of the remaining Klingon ships? They're doing what they can against the virus. We have some time before their core systems reach a critical state. Mm, acknowledged. Do not abandon the warriors in escape pods. You have time. Rescue them, so they may fight on as warriors. Right now, you need to save the ones who need your help the most. Yeah. Very well. Prepare to conduct rescue operations. <sighs> Comms, notify sickbay some of these survivors may need medical attention. An enemy horse just dropped out of war. Ooh. Beaming up escape pods. Boop, 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 boop. Wait a minute, is this one of those times where you can't do it if they shoot you? Great. Uh, let's kill everybody first. Oh, I just wasted that one. Beat my blade. Is that it? Come, we can't help you. Is that it? Looks like it. That's the last of them. It's time to restore the last Korath vessel. Thought there was two of them. I am Katrak, son of Gatron. I lead the forces of House Korath in this system. Your assistance is appreciated, but the battle isn't over yet. Please explain. Admiral Dever will not give up so easily. When he said he would return, he meant it, and he will come with reinforcements. I will not allow him to take this system. Uh, what, what do you propose, Captain? Now that you have restored our ships, we will make our stand here. Yeah. Captain, while I appreciate your courage, you must realize your forces are in no shape to engage Dever. Such a battle is unwise. You should withdraw. Yeah. Dever is powerful, but he is not invincible. My ship may be damaged, but even a dreadnought can't survive the explosion from a warp core breach at point blank range. I am prepared to deliver that fatal blow. Are you sure about that? I don't know. 
some of them are really thick hulls and you know like regenerating nanites and stuff like that and like two different types of shields and things yeah a suicide attack uh, what do they call it oh forgot it's on the tip of my tongue we've got a saying a slang for that but Cam Kamiazi Kamaz Hmm, but anyway, sorry. A suicide attack. It is his duty to defend this system by any means necessary. He wishes to lead his forces to victory as a warrior born. You could leave him to his fate. Without our ships, his fleet will probably lose the battle. With our aid, however, victory could be found, along with a new ally. Who is that? I understand. Your counsel is... Appreciated, Lorel, even if the lesson you teach is a bitter one. Captain Gatrak, we will remain in the system and fight by your side to the end. Yeah, okay. Very well. Honor to you and your house, Matria. Today we will rid the stars of Tavur and his lackeys. Kapla! Red alert, all hands, battle stations, shields up. Shields are always up. Really hard to Attention to enemy forces! Out of respect for your courage, I offer you the chance to quit this system and surrender it to the authority of Emperor Jempok. Remain, and I shall give you the honor of a warrior's death. Access denied. I mean, your offer is denied, Admiral. Soon they will be with Kalis and Skovacor, singing songs of glory and victory. You have our thanks. Without your strength, we would have been defeated. Why oh, it's so dark like that? Hmm. And G Trag would have died in vain. Hmm, indeed. But now, the Vernus fleet were critical to Jempok's plan for this sector. Without them. How Skorath will be able to maintain control here? Hmm. The fight against Jempok is not over. Hmm. Agreed. With the loss of Gatrak, I am now in command of our forces here. Know that you can rely on us when the time comes. Until then, we will await your call to glorious battle. Kapla! Kapla. Martok sends word from the Kuvat system. It is not good news. Huh? What happened there? 
New rifts are opening, and the Alachi are sending fleets to attack from them. I failed the people of Kuvat once. I will not fail them again. Very well. What is the plan? Inform our allies and ask them to assemble at Kuvat. We will meet at Martok's coordinates. Together, we can defeat the Alachi and save the people of Kuvat. Very well, Hank Helm, set a course to the Cubat system. Maximum warp. Or trans warp. Punch it. Engage. There are still a few ships defending the system, but they are outnumbered by the enemy. More Alash could arrive at any time. We need to move quickly. Martok is here, but where are our allies? Why did they not answer the call to arms? Maybe they're all dead. Have patience. The warriors of House Kang had to return to their vessels. House Koreth's fleet was decimated by Akar's virus. Oh no, I think you need to get Norton. Um, I'll send him over right away. Will they will need time to regroup and respond? Yes, but they will respond, for they are Klingon. They gave their word, and they will honor it. It falls to us to hold the line and keep the Alache at bay until they arrive. Kapla. Kapla, relay all hands, battle stations, shields up. Basic maneuvers. Fire. Fire it well. Torpedo spread, chemo. Engineering stuff. Oh, drop off all the stuff you can to distract them. Send some numbers. You have numbers. Touch some special powers. Oh, we need more power. Oh, uh, yeah. Should do some discovery. <clears throat> no, they were dead already, that was too easy. Even the warp core breaches hardly hurt me. I know your face. You are Cha'ula of House Mokai. Your craven weapon scarred Kuvat and killed many Klingons. Why are you here? Do you come to atone for your crimes? It's clear that I'm talking to In me. In a way, yes. I have come to defend the birth world of my mother from these attacks. My allies and I pledge to stop the Alachi and seal these rifts forever. Okay. And how am I to know that this is not more of your Mokai treachery? Honeyed words meant to deceive and ensnare before the killing blow? Yeah. You have my word of honor, warrior. Mine and the word of General Martok. I trust that will be sufficient. Mm, yeah. I have heard that you walked among us once again, Lorel. It pleases me to see the rumors are true. If you and Martok are willing to fight at Cha'ula's side, I will do so as well. Mm, a wise choice, Captain. Now, you say you come to help with these rifts. There is one nearby. Show us that your word has value here, Cha'ula. Close the rift now. We'll do what we can, Captain. Setting a course. Maximum impulse. Rock and roll. Basic maneuvers. Strategic maneuvers. Mm. Ooh. Oh no. How did I always go too far? Like, oh my god. No, oh, that was annoying. have opened nearby. I think I've done a patrol that's just like this.
Hmm. It's on the map. Mm -hmm. uh, I might hit it in the wrong direction, it looks like. Wow, that's not good. Where is it? Oh, down there, okay. It's a corkscrew up really high. Come on, full impulse already. Rift Alpha. behind you. <laughs> Did we close that rift or what? No. I've got to get it very close to it. Where's that other one? Over there. Oh no, I'm like focused on someone who's out of range. I hate that. Gotta keep your eye on who they're trying to shoot. If the person's out of range, you've got to change it. Kobayashi Maru, get some back up. Come on, focus frenzy. Shoot, guys, doesn't look like you're doing much shooting. What's going on? See, sometimes it just stops. Happening, you can focus on someone you can't shoot or for some reason. Something stupid. Rah! Come on, kill everyone already. Hurry up. What are you shooting at? Anyone left to kill? No. Oh, I'm supposed to close the rift still. Oh, there you go. A new rift opening, much larger than before. Uh, another we one. must investigate it at once. Yep. Set a course. Full impulse. This new rift is a lot larger and more powerful than any we have seen so far. Are we going to be able to close it? Ah, uh, yeah, no worries, man. I got a cool deflector dish. We'll need to run some scans and see what can be done. Scanning rift. Scanning rift. Do, 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 do. Scanning little rift. Well, out with it. Can we close it or not? Uh, do your readings match mine? They do. I am reading two signals from the other side of the rift. One is using a heavily encrypted Alachi code. The other is using code unique to House Mokai. To what end? I believe someone has acquired some of the Mokai tech from our earlier incursions into the mycelial realm and modified it. They are using it to create these rifts. Mm -hmm. It is your tech. 
Can you send a shutdown command and turn it off? Turn it off, man? I have tried several times. The command systems are not recognizing the orders. Oh. What is our next move then? We will not be able to do much more from here. The solution to this problem lies within the mycelial network. What do you propose? Oh my god, are we going to get back there again? You and I will lead a team into the mycelial oh. network and attempt to contact our allies there. Perhaps the Jasep or the liberated Alachi can assist us. Failing that. that, we will need to find a solution to the problem ourselves within the network. Can we do that in the next episode? Because it's now 45 minutes into this mission. And I really think that's way long enough. Like a normal episode of the TV show only goes for 45 minutes. I swear the missions in this game used to only go for 45 minutes. When do they start making them go longer than this? Bringing Why should I go do a ground thing? conflict with the Alachi will be difficult, Jaula. But I believe you will find a way to do so. Go yeah. now. We will wait for you here and defend Kovat from any further attacks. Kapla! Yeah, Kapla, I'll wait here with Laurel. See you later, Jaula. No. Oh my god. No. Why can't I just do space pew pews? <laughs> No, I do like this, this ground place. place the descriptions do not do it justice. Even in such a chaotic state, it is majestic. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I can see why the Alachi fight so hard to protect it. I am reading several Alachi life signs nearby. They appear to be in an agitated state. I doubt they will be willing or able to help us. Get ready to fight! And are still ready weapons. I am also picking up an Elachi communication relay on the tricorder. Perhaps we can use it to send a message to our allies within the mycelial realm. Mm. One way to find out, let's try to reach this comms of like relay. Elachi! They were waiting to attack! Do not read any allotted life signs in the area. Up ahead, those lights. If our intel is correct, manipulating filaments like that allows for transport within the area. They connect different parts of the mycelial realm. Yeah. Fascinating. We should be able to use this to reach the next island and continue our search for the comms relay. Yeah. <sighs> Flowers and lights used for transportation. This place continues to surprise me. Sorry about that background noise. Jump to the next platform. Ooh, this. That's cool. It's like we're doing what Discovery does. Going through my cereals. The communication relay lies ahead. If my readings are accurate, we can use it to trigger a signal. Something that our allies among the liberated Alachi will notice. Ah, I'm sure we can make a noticeable modification. 
Can I air seal that thing over there? Activate the beacon. Activating beacon. Uh -oh. Our signal was received, but not by our allies. <laughs> uh oh. That didn't help. These are bad guys. Should I get them all? No response. We need to push the signal. Let us continue onward. We may find a stronger relay station deeper within the realm. Yep. On to the next bridge then. Where's that? Over there. I see. I don't know why I just walked in the wrong direction. Always does that bug. Only in this game, it doesn't happen anywhere else. Jump to the next platform. There. Do you see it? Another Ilachi comms relay just ahead. Perhaps we can use it to boost our signal and make contact with the liberated Ilachi. Mmm. Perhaps it's worth a shot. Move out. Ah. Don't have to go far then, do I? Mm. Ah, this thing. Activating beacon. Beep, beep, beep. Uh oh. Look out! Warren and Lachi are attacking! Alachi doesn't seem corrupted like the others. I am Captain Tarsib of the Liberated Alachi. You travel with Jaula, a known enemy of the realm. If you seek to do more harm, you will be stopped by any means necessary. We need to seal a massive rift, and we need your help to do so. I realize that I am not welcome within this place, Ilachi, but there is little time to waste. We believe there are others using modified versions of my tech to create a massive rift. Our attempts to shut it down have not been successful. Perhaps, by working together, we can close the rift and put an end to the spread of corruption here. She speaks the truth, Tarsev. We are not your enemy. This would explain why our efforts to neutralize the corruption have failed. We did not have the information on your tech we needed. Jaula, if you give me your word of honor, I will assist your realm once more. Yeah. I give you my word of honor. As a Klingon warrior and the leader of my house, we will fight at your side and work together to make things right in this place. The same goes for me and my officers. Very well. We must move quickly. The Corrupted Ones have sent a fleet of considerable strength through it to attack your realm, and are preparing more vessels to strike. 
What's our next move then? There is a device nearby that we can use to destabilize the rift. Come, I will show you the way. Lead the way, Tarsev. Oh, he's right there. I didn't even notice. Bruh. Jumping to the next one. Ooh, look at this. So crazy. Close your eyes. It's gonna go white. Ah, uh, bright light. No, I can't see anything. I'm blind. Uh. A shaper lies ahead. It is a device that uses spore mist to alter the terrain and the environment. Spore mist. How can it help us? We can reconfigure this device to release a wave of energized spore mist. The wave will cleanse the corruption from the mycelium as it flows throughout the realm. What about the rift? It will begin to destabilize, eventually reaching a point where it can be closed. Be advised, the corrupted ones are using the shaper to maintain the rift. They will defend it to the death. Okay, very well. Ready weapons and move out. Run. Let's run. I'll Let's see who can get there first, eh? It's always me. You guys are slow. My housemate just got home, so that's not good timing. Getting in a bit early. I don't have more time alone. You don't hear any noising. I might have to move the microphone in a minute. Good. We can now use the Shaper to undo the madness of the Corrupted Ones. Yes, myself and Ja'ula. She will deal with her tech, while I deal with that of the Corrupted Ones. Working together, we can enable the reconfiguration process and destabilize the Rift. Remain vigilant, for the Corrupted Ones will return, and in force. You must defend us while we reconfigure the Shaper. Work quickly, we need to end the siege of this. Quickly, use the other console to unlock the next set of modifications.
Move to the next console and unlock it! Now, activate the final sequence at the console, on the far side of the machine. It worked. The wave is cleansing the realm of corruption, and the rift is beginning to destabilize. Excellent. What now? I will return with you to your realm. The liberated Alachi wish to bring an end to such incursions to our realm, and I believe I can help you with that task. You will be welcome to join us in the effort, Tarsiv. Very well. Let us return to your ship now. The window for safe transport back to your realm is closing soon. Understood. Kavan, I see your efforts were successful. Adetpa tells me we will be able to close the rift soon. Hmm. Yes, once the rift destabilizes to a critical level. Very yeah. well. Until that time comes, we must defend Kuvat and face the Alachi in battle. Any sign of our allies? We have detected several Klingon vessels on long-range sensors. They are approaching at high warp, but we do not know if they are friends or foes. Okay, understood all hands battle stations. We will hold the line until we can close the rift. Oh, that rift.
the rift has destabilized to a point where it can be closed from this side. That is good news. I recommend haste. The corrupted ones have a large fleet moving to exit the rift as we speak. Acknowledged. Moving to close the rift now. Closing massive rift. Watch out! An Alachi fleet made it out before the rift closed. Call to arms was given, and House Kang has responded. House Korra stands with you as well. Kabla! Almost got them all. Victory is ours! The Alachi have been driven from the system, and Kuvat is secure once more. Uh, news of this will spread through the Empire like wildfire. Yes, to friends and foes alike. After today, more allies will join forces with us, along with House Kang and House Korath. Uh, we will need them at our side when we face Jempox forces. I have received word from my contacts among the Orions and the Gorn. They stand ready to join us when the time comes. Good to hear. The three Alachi will join the fight as well. We desire an end to this conflict, and to the usage of the mycelial weapon. Understood. Tarsev, I would speak with you later, about a mycelial matter. For now, however, I believe we all have to prepare for the last campaign. Soon, the time will come to face Jempak and his forces in battle. Um, indeed, it appears all roads lead to Quanos. We must be ready. Beam us out. I mean, walk us out of here. Punch it. Is the mission over? I hope. I think so. That was a long one. An hour and 12 minutes. Approximately. Just under... Okay. Word of our deeds is spreading throughout the Empire. More allies stand ready to fight at our side, but we cannot rest easy. The mad emperor will retaliate with all the forces he can muster. While it is said that revenge is a dish that is best served cold, we should mm -hmm. expect the unexpected from Jimpok. In his madness, he will be unpredictable. In his desperation, he may commit unthinkable acts to avenge his losses. 
I feel the final days of this war are upon us. But I know from experience that those days can be terrible to face. We can only follow the example of Kalish and fight with honor. Collect reward. Reed Hart said choice of ward, but it was really only one. Please don't auto hail him. Okay, yeah, it was pretty cool. Jimpok is trapped on the corner. I don't have time for that today. Um, okay, so that's for next time. Alright, yeah, I'll probably give that one a... Uh, a 8.69. Uh, warp cores out of 10 for my rating uh, for this review. Um, because why not? You know, it seems like a fair score to give it, I suppose. It, it was just too long, again. That's my biggest complaint. When missions go for too long, I'm sure you're sick of watching just as much as I'm sick of playing. Sort of thing, after 45 minutes, you know, you kind of need a break. And you can't take a break when you're recording. It's not that easy. <laughs> not like when you're just on your own. Anyway, um, yeah, no, it was a good mission. It was nice to see, you know, Klingons from Discovery and like them fixing the Klingons in Discovery. You know, and how they all looked normal once they got hair and all that, you know. Anyway, it's interesting, isn't it? Uh, it's nice to have that lady in there. Mm. She does sound different to the other one that's supposed to be her sister. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, Terrell. Yeah. I like that Terrell uh, Klingon woman. She was good, actually, in Discovery. So, yeah. That was cool. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this video from the Tim of Ball Show. Please support the channel in any way you can. All right? You you will be assimilated. Resistance is a futile. Live long and prosper. May the force be with you. Always.